find the feed bunk and give these steers some feed. We feed them right out here in the pasture. Need to get me some kind of phone holder. Selfie stick, I think they call it. I think that's what these crazy kids call them things. Sometimes if I can't get these steers to follow me for whatever reason, I'll just uh, put the feed bunk on the four-wheeler, on the back of the four-wheeler, and I'll just bring the feed bunk to them. But it looks like they're coming. Feed bunk. This grass is getting tall out here. I can't even see the feed bunk. It's hiding in this grass somewhere. Guys, we don't we don't lock our steers up into a feedlot style pen and just you know feed the hell out of them. We like to keep them in their most natural state possible. Out here giving them this pasture free range and then giving them feeding them their grain on top of that and during the day when they're not getting fed I normally feed them in the evening but during the day you know they're free to roam eat whatever grass they want live a nice comfortable life and we're just not gonna pin them up in a, in a dirty lot that you have to clean the manure out of every day you know we want to keep our animals healthy we want to keep our animals healthy while we're finished finishing them otherwise who wants to eat an animal that's been locked up in a pen with their own manure and not able to get any kind of exercise or you know stress-free life like these steers are getting. You know what? I think I drove past the feed bunk. I think the steers found it. That grass is so tall I couldn't even see it. Them steers are like, where the heck are you going? Like 
you brought us all the way up here to feed us and now you're driving off what the heck all right boys i'm gonna feed you well, i'm gonna move this feed bunk yeah you know what it's getting late i try to move it to a fresh area of grass so they don't beat down the grass too much but it's getting late and I need to get them fed. I'll be back. All right, it's getting late, but I moved them to a new area. Boy, these mosquitoes are eating me up. I gotta get, gotta get back to the car. Heather and the kids are waiting for me. But anyways, moved them to a new area. Uh, I try to move them to a new area every day. For one, it gets them used to following me. And two, I don't want to keep the feed bunk in one area and beat that grass down too much. But long story short, you know, these cows are out here in this big pasture, this big green pasture. They got all the grass in the world to eat. They're stress free. They come get their feed when it's ready to feed, when, it, when it's feeding time. And uh, they're happy. And you can just see how good they look. These are some of the best Red Angus genetics you're going to find, guys. These steers are going to be ready to butcher it in early March. So we'll keep you posted on how they're doing and how they grow. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys how we feed our steers. Not pinned up in a feedlot out here. They're out here in this green pasture where they should be living their life. All right, guys, this is Tim at Van Leeuwen Family Farm. Everybody have a good evening.